activate and it's that killer switch. And I always wondered, I swear to God, I always wondered why in high school I never fought anyone. And I always wondered why. And I, I thought it was because, like, you know, I was, like, a big, tough wrestler and fo- football player. But it turns out, like, I just don't, I just don't really enjoy and see violence. Violence is, even, even, yo, remember the slap doc? Yeah, you remember, hated that. So when I slapped the guy, part of the reason we didn't go to Russia um, is because, well, it was two things. One, uh, I didn't want that to happen to me, the damage that I did to that guy. And two, remember when I slapped the guy? The feeling that I felt for just, like, hurting a defenseless man wasn't, like, it wasn't great. Even even without putting him away, when you watch the tape back, you technically out, you, <laughs> you technically outboxed him. You have cleaner oh, shots thank on you, the, Ariana. Upper, the, the uppercut. Thank you, Ariana. Really thank you. The uppercut was absolutely ferocious. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and the big question now is the two points. <laughs> Never before have two points been removed since Evander and Holyfield's ear was bit off by Mike Tyson. A lot of people were reporting on this. What, what's the what's the next step there? Do you, do you let it go? Do, did you win the fight last night? Um, <clears throat> you know, I don't want to sit here and make excuses all night because I, I look at it like this. Should two points have been deducted? Absolutely fucking not. The last time that happened, like you said, Mike Tyson bit off Evander of Holyfield's ear. Bro, I, 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 I tapped the dude. I tapped the dude when he was down. They're asking for a spoon instead. Can I have that spoon? We get a spoon. Uh, this mic's broken. Let's get it. No, no, no. <laughs> but, but, but let's look at it like this. Let's look at, let's look at it like this. If the two points weren't deducted, you, you would have won. I would have won, yes. But also, not, not, not by like a major, major decision. It would have still been a split decision. Yeah. So like. K- I don't want to take any- anything away from KSI. KSI he's a yeah. fucking dog, dog and animal. I told you, he's, yes, one the t- he's one of the toughest people I know. And that's a fact. Like, getting in the ring is hard. And getting in the ring and, beating, and, be- <laughs> and, and beating a dude who, you know, has dedicated his life to beating you is fucking... It's a, that's a, that ain't easy, bro. I guess one of my final questions before I turn it over to the press who's watching from yeah. home yeah. is... Um, <clears throat> What is it like now? A lot of people are wondering what's next, okay? Does it, do you feel like you're kind of sad that you have to go back to a life of extremely hot women, you know, tons of money, uh, you know, just, just living life and being loved by kind of everybody? Like, how does that feel for you knowing that you have to go back to that kind of situation and the mud of all of it? Uh, you know, something tells me I'll be all right. I don't know, uh... Maybe maybe because I'm not like a maybe because I'm not like a, <laughs> a a professional boxer for like my career, my living. And I said this on a in a press interview yesterday. Like when I was 18 and I had the choice to choose my career for the rest of my life, I chose content creation, not professional boxing. And here we are. Like maybe I chose the right path. So we're we're look so <clears throat> you're looking for the positives in it. It looks like uh, this may have happened for a reason, and maybe you <laughs> now can return to making great internet content and having the number one podcast in the world. I mean, look, dude, it's impulsive, and uh, we're super extra ultra lit. <laughs> what did you say? That's all for <laughs> breakfast with Logan. Do we have any questions from the fans? Yeah, y'all, y'all got any questions? Any questions <clears throat> from uh, fans? I'm seeing some comments here. Oh, horses. So you and KSI are friends now. Um, it's a work in progress. Get this fucking spoon out of my face. Bro. Well, it's the mic. <laughs> no, your mic. Let's, uh, Let's Andre, go, Andre. Champ. Let's go, champ. Champ? How'd you feel having Justin in your corner? That's a good question. Yeah, how'd you feel having Justin in your corner? Uh, it was it was lit. He, he did a prayer with us before the, uh, before the bout. And uh, he, he, he walked me to the ring, and the whole time he was just like, yo, peace, calm, stay calm, stay cool. And uh, it, it definitely really helped. But I was, uh, I was way too calm, to be honest. It took me like three rounds to get started. I was just like waking up. <clears throat> Third round, Shannon comes in, my coach, he goes, he goes yo, what the fuck are you doing? I, like verbatim, I said, I don't know. <laughs> That's why he, Shannon comes to the ring, he goes, yo. This is after like round, round two or three, and I, I, I wasn't like, I wasn't on. He goes, what the fuck are you doing? I go, I don't know. He's like, yo, just start jabbing, start moving and shit. Just because, like, everything we have practiced, I just went, 
to abandon out the window. Ariana, yeah, go for it. <laughs> Thanos KSI. Nah, he he deserves a win and, and I'm I'm Well, I don't know if he deserves a win, but he won. And I and I'll give him that and uh we are gonna contest the commission because, you know, I don't think it was fair and I I don't know if I'd be satisfied with myself if I didn't um give it my all to try to make this right. But if, if you know, sometimes you just gotta surrender to life, and this is one of those situations. <clears throat> Shannon the cannon brings. So why were you holding back? Yeah, that's that's. I think that's the big Jessica. question. I think you. I think. I think you answered it kind of when you talked about that lack of instinct to hurt someone. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you had to go and hurt someone that was getting defenseless and put him in the fucking ground. And that's. I think that's what separates a, a fighter and a savage like like Shannon the cannon from. So, uh, it's from a normal person. I think you might have figured out last week that it's, it's not what you like to do. It's, it's it's definitely interesting because, like, I have it in me. I have it in me somewhere. But last night, it just didn't uh, It just didn't come out. Answer the question, do you love George Janko? Says George Janko. <laughs> um, that's that's a fact. I, yeah, I do love George Janko. <laughs> I, saw a, I saw a good question up here. Um uh, Meg Hearn says your big talk is gone now. But you're absolutely right. To be honest, like my big talk, it's kind of, uh, it's kind of very superficial. Like it doesn't mean much. I just, I just do big talk to sell the fight. Like at, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I'm a media king and I'm a promotional marketing fucking expert. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk big to get you, Meg, to buy the fight, which you did. So look who won. Uh, man, everyone's so supportive. Um, uh, yeah. In case I was wobbling around, you clearly could have knocked him out. Why didn't you go for it? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't if you're a KSI fan and you're watching this right now, can you please go dump more clown faces on my last picture? <laughs> Brands, when they try to figure out how much money to pay us, they look at our engagement. And so if you just keep dumping those comments, you're literally putting money in my pocket. Dude, I need you. If you're a KSI fan, go dump those clowns right now. Brit- Brittany Atwood. Hi, Britt. Little Britt. She said, what's next? Um, I don't know. I've been trying to figure it out. I woke up this morning, slightly hungover, slightly sick. Uh, oh yeah, you drank last night. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. That was cool. It was it though. Yeah, yeah, it was. No, I know it was cool last night, but like, how do you feel right now? <laughs> <Not> horrible. <laughs> I feel like, Kids. No, I look great, but like, I, I just. We gave up our sobriety streak. <laughs> Our 90 days of the sobriety streak. But yo, Britt, I want to answer this question fully. What's next? What is next? Um, D- David David said, is David. The German videographer from the night shift. Last night in the in the van, he goes, he, he goes, yo, what have you always said like you love to do the most and that you're the best at? And I was like, I don't know, making content? He's like, yeah, so why don't you go back to that? Because you've been missing, you've been gone for a while. And so yeah, probably just making content. Um, I did the fighting thing, and I'm probably gonna keep doing it because I, unfortunately, I love it. But we'll see. Why did you lose two points in the match? Um, he said because after I uppercutted him, I grabbed the back of his head and uppercutted him again, and then when he was on the ground, I did like a little like like a, like a whip in the back of the head. That's why. Why are you eating? Oh, what are you eating? Says Trisha. Hi, Trisha. What we had? Steak and Steak eggs. Steak and eggs. And uh, some, some French toast. Some French toast. And this, okay. <laughs> um, thank you, Roman. I love you, bro. Nothing would impress the proud of you head up only. You're right, man. I love that. Too. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Much, um, so I've read a comment here who said this. Uh, Jacob's ending? Yo, you should for real try and fight CM Punk or just get a fight in the UFC. Let's be honest, dude. Like, I'm a... Even like yesterday, you could see... Like, I'm a MMA fighter if I'm any type of fighter. I just, like, I I like to use all my assets. It's hard to, like, stay locked up here and, like, not, like, it's a fight, right? So when he went to the ground, my instinct is, like, yo, fuck this dude up. <laughs> Keep fucking him up. And uh, in MMA, that's that's cool. But in, uh, in boxing, it's not. Did KSI bake the cake? I think we, I think we gotta make the cake. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, no, Jacob, should. I love That's you, brother. That's so true. Yo, let's, let's we make should. it. Let's we make should a cake. send them a big and ass cake. And it says, "Congrats, KSI." We probably have to. That's probably fair, dude. KSI, if you see this, we we definitely. We're gonna make you that cake, dude. bro. 
Do you think getting the extra weight slowed you down? Nah, I trust. I, I was operating at fucking sixty percent yesterday. I was not on my game at all. Um, just a multitude of uh, different facets that prevented me from getting that dub dub. Uh, Alex said you fought well last night. Yeah, I'm happy case I won because I'm British. Congrats, man. Yeah, I, to be honest, like I've. Although I lost, I've said this before, I, I've taken, like, true losses in my life. This doesn't feel like that. And maybe it's because, like... That music. <laughs> you think they hear that? KSI, uh... So I lost, and KSI won. But I don't know, what, like... Yes, it's a competition, but I don't have a... I don't have a problem with KSI winning, man. That's, like... That's my brother. That's my fucking peer, my comrade. That's my my equal. You know, and uh, I, I have no problem with him conquering another hurdle in his life. Should it should it even be me? Like I I think that's awesome, and I'm fucking happy for him and stoked. Um, I think that I think that why didn't he throw the right hook? Question is going to keep coming up, and I think like. I, I'm curious too Like what What was really stopping you From letting the, that right fly Um I don't know bro I, I I'm I'm I ask myself so many questions About like what, Like what Why I didn't do the things I did And like I'm not sure I have an answer I, I just don't know Like I remember the, the few times I threw it It connected And it yeah, fucked him up bro Um <clears throat> Who knows? I like that background. You know, you know what I, you know what I think was gonna happen. I bet in like a year or two, um, the zone maybe maybe less, maybe like six months. The zone slash match from boxing is gonna offer a big, big, big bag for that for the trilogy to hit the uh, the infamous trilogy fight. <laughs> Um, all right. That's it for today. That's uh, it. That's all we got. I love all of you. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are fucking awesome. I'm sure there's Thank a full for supporting me. I'm sure there's a full fight breakdown coming. I'm, you know, impossibly yeah, yeah, yeah. back, but I don't know. A couple we'll days, back. couple days. Yeah, we'll maybe. be back. We're all right. We're gonna go chill out today. Um, try and get this fucking sickness out of my head. I love y'all, uh, and I'll see you. Soon, take it easy. Let's go chat. <laughs> <laughs> Me? Yeah. All right, bye, guys.